welcome to another session of Celebrity Gossips here on our YouTube channel. If you're new here, do remember to subscribe for more videos like this. Eminem and 50 Cent are two well-known hip-hop artists from the 21st century who have made contributions to the business with songs like In The Club and Lose Yourself. The two have a special affinity and are said to help each other in the most tough and crucial situations. Eminem is reported to have discovered 50 Cent and provided him with the necessary skills to enter the music industry. With the help of Grammy Award winner and iconic music producer Dr. Dre, 50 went on to become one of hip-hop's original. 50 Cent debuted in the music industry with his album Get Rich or Die Trying, which was released by Shady Records, which is controlled by Eminem. Eminem worked as a mentor and helped a young rapper get his big break, according to the young rapper in 2006. Candy Shop and In The Club were big hits from his debut album, and he went on to earn a $1 million record deal with Dr. Dre, a rapper turned producer. When asked about his connection with fellow musician 50 Cent, the Grammy-winning rapper reportedly stated, It's pretty much the same as it's always been. I love Fifth Man, he was quoted as saying. Their bond is deep, and the two have been witnessed in a few beef fights. Here are the two friendship timeline and events that occurred between them since the friendship started. The friendship between Eminem and 50 Cent began when Eminem at the height of his success before to the release of Marshall Mathers, LP listened to 50 Cent's Guess Who's Back mixtape. 50 was at the bottom of his life and career, having been sacked from his label and shot nine times before on the song Gatho Karan, he name drops number of dealers from his hood. Eminem was so thrilled that he agreed to sign 50 with Dr. Dre's label, Aftermath, for a 50-50 split. In 2003, Shady Aftermath released 50 Cent's debut studio album, Get Rich or Die Tryin'. With over 10 million copies sold worldwide, the record was a commercial success, and 50 became Hip Hot as Hop's property. Eminem introduces 50 to the world in the song Patiently Waiting from this album, with 50 congratulating M on his hip hop reputation. Hey M, you know you're my favorite white boy, right? I owe you for this one. 50 comments to Eminem. At the 2003 MTV Video Music Awards, 50 was named Best Rap Video and Best New Artist for his achievement with his debut debut album. Eminem also took home an Oscar for Best Video for a film for his hit, Lose Yourself. This may come across as boastful, but when you're the hottest rapper in the game and have teamed up with the hottest protege, it's the greatest moment to show up to an award event in style. When Eminem and Dr. Dre signed 50 to Shady Aftermath, he was in the midst of a fight with fellow New York rapper Ja Ru. Ja and his label manager, Irv Gotti, threatened Eminem with legal action if he allowed 50 to release a diss single against them. Ja began hurling comments, including one directed at Eminem's seven-year-old daughter Haley. In retaliation, Eminem, D12, and Obi Tries released a mocking song, Haley's Revenge, which used Haley's vocals. The Massacre, 50 Cent's sophomore album, featured Eminem. On Gatman and Robin, 50 and Eminem resumed their dispute with the source executive Benzino warning everyone not to mess with them. The song samples the theme tune from Batman and his sidekick Robin, a 1960s TV show. 50 Cent raps, you touch shady, I'll leave you sadly departed. Eminem is praised positively by 50 in 2014. Hip-hop is unquestionably black music, and it can be difficult for some people to comprehend that a white musician can do it better than a black artist. It's just the way it is. You can bring in whoever you think is the best black musician and put them in a room with Eminem, and he'll eat that person alive. He revealed this to Music Choice. When Eminem released his 10th studio album, Kamikaze, in 2018, he pulled a Kamikaze. It was released in response to the downgrade of his previous album revival by critics, fans, and haters. He targeted a number of high-profile persons, including rappers MGK, Joe Budden, Lil San, and others. 50 was ecstatic about the initiative, and he shared a phony like Nike ad featuring M on Instagram with the statement, believe in bringing the game back to life, even if it means annihilating every single player. Machine Gun Kelly is one of the people Eminem criticizes on Kamikaze. The feud began in 2012 when MGK, then 21, wrongly jailed Haley Jade, then 16, as sexy with all respect because M is king. Since then, MGK and Eminem have released diss singles against each other, Rap Devil and Kill Shot, respectively. 
on his Instagram, 50 later praised Killshot, which was scheduled to be the biggest premiere of a hip-hop song on YouTube. Eminem fueled the feud between himself and Nick Wilde and out canon a rapper and TV personality. Nick rekindled the feud 10 years later by repeatedly bashing Eminem on podcasts and Eminem retaliated with his feature with Fat Joe, Lord Above. Nick then released four diss tracks, but M didn't respond to any of them. Eminem was advised by 50 not to go against him. According to the rap, a fool can't be reasoned with. When you realize that a person does not register even when they are losing, the debate becomes endless. As a result, you should simply cease. These two have shown time and time again, and they are good friends and will always be there for each other. After all, that's what friendship is about. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!